So I haven't filmed anything in like a day and a half, which is just feels really weird, but we've been rushing so much just to keep our launch date. I think it's just one of those things where until you set it and you do your very best to keep it, you might never launch. So it's kind of just our style. <laughs> so the truck is here and just peeled off the rest of the tape for the bottom paint and Garrett's been frantically trying to get this old tube of grease out of the grease gun to grease up the pencils and gudgeons. Um, but they're gonna put us on the truck. We'll paint the bottom uh, where the stands or where the uh, blocks were. And then after they come back from lunch, they're gonna move us to the launch ramp. So it's happening quick. We've got fuming and organizing inside. Um, bottom painting under the did you paint under the kilo? Just I get did. It? Okay, so it's just those spots? Yeah, it's just three so, spots, and I kept everything out. Um, tell me what you are thinking, but if I don't mind getting in here when they lift us and hitting the spots, uh -huh. if you want to go up and start organizing inside. Yeah, I can do that. And, uh, and then start vacuuming the bilge. Okay. Um, and then I can, as soon as I finish this, I'll come up and I can jump in on vacuuming or uh, Just getting whatever. shit out of the way. Yeah. Um, cool, and we should have an hour cool. to do all that. Cool, Because they're going on lunch break. Yeah, it should be, should be good. They're not la launching anybody else today. He, he said that? Okay, cool. It's just us. Okay, Oops, so I'm not even filming us. So, is that all that's left? Transducer could probably get another little okay. wipey, but it's pretty well covered. We wanted this launch day to feel very routine. Just us and the boat. A normal day in the life. Last year was a very different day. A monumentous day. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. Look at that beauty. The day we launched Red of Eva for the first time will forever be a vivid memory. But today, we wanted it to feel like any other day. A launching that will fade and blend into the countless other times we'll have to haul out. A normal, ordinary thing. down here? Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay, um, it shouldn't take me too long. Okay. Being the methodical guy that he is, it was a good thing he checked our launch pump, since we lent it out and it came back broken. 
Launching any wooden boat, you're gonna need pumps until she swells. Garrett is quickly getting our actual bilge pump up and running. Just gotta go get a tube. Yeah. Not the last minute project we expected, but better now than when we're taking on water. Might be ready. a lot more than before, but I think we'll be fine. But that pump will keep up with it? I think, yeah, it's a big pump. <laughs>
fire. That's a fire hose. <laughs> Definitely a lot quicker than last time. Look at her go. I don't know how well you can hear it. Look at this little waterfall. Number holes still. Yeah. I'm so glad I drilled number holes. <laughs> Better late than never. Yeah. Oh, it would stink to have to do each frame by each frame bay. Yeah. I mean, it's bail. fine when we first launch because there's no, no interior. Yeah. It would be really nice if I had had the time to wire up the float switch. <laughs> but uh. I figure we'll hang out for a little while and then we'll just go straight to our slip. We took on water, letting Red Aviva soak up past the first stringer, then kicked on the bilge pump. This was about every 10 minutes at first. Okay, on. okay go ahead and... Flipper? Yeah. I think it should be convenient on the cabin top there. Okay. I'll kind of feed the wires. How you doing? Good. Um, let's say it's... I'm actually, I'm really glad. It's a blessing in disguise that we dropped our French press of coffee in the village the other day and saw it leaking out the bottom because it completely mentally prepared me. I'm, this is, this is about exactly the amount of water I thought was going to come in. But prior to that, prior to dropping the coffee, I didn't think she was going to leak that much. Yeah. She hardly leaked at all when we launched her, and I figured she'd leak more because she dried out, but I didn't think it was going to be that much more. But, yeah, I think I'd be stressing a little bit more. I'm a little nervous about kind of only having the one pump hooked up to our onboard supply. Looks like we're getting good charge in. When I first turned it on after I had been running this big pump for a while with no charge going in. When I first turned it on, we were at 12.7 volts, but now we're climbing up pretty quick, 12.9 to... We also have the AC battery charger as well, so if we need to, we can plug into shore power and put power into our battery bank. Yeah, we'll definitely be in our slip before the sun goes down, huh? I think so. What's the plan? When we first launched her, she hardly leaked at all, which was, you know, in one way we're like, yeah, you know, makes you feel really good. But in the other way, she was so dry when we launched her that the hull, the actual hull didn't really swell up all that much um, because of the sheathing. The sheathing, when we first put it on, everything was fit really nice and tight and with all the tar. It's like the sheathing swelled up, but the planking inside, there are actually places that the planking was still like pretty open. It's probably good to get a thorough swelling inside and out. Yeah, it's nice. Main planking and sheathing. Yeah, because this will actually allow the entire hull to swell up properly like it should. Hi, Zwab. Good boy. Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. I'm bored. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This way.
still don't have the engine hooked up, so we're lashing the dinghy alongside to move to our slip here in the marina. And now uh, you're the one on camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> Julie's here to help. Okay, See how it goes. Yes. At my post. I don't remember if her leg fits between this dock or not. We still got a decent ways to go. Okay, just uh, keep me in the loop. Informed. Okay. Just tell me if the bow is going to clear. I think we might clear. Okay. Well, just be ready to fend off. And I'm like right there. Yeah, I mean, we still got like four and a half feet. Okay, we might not even need to poke it. I can slip. touch the roof, but we're still. Are we like flat on the transom? No, I still got foot. Yeah, no, we're perfect. We're like the exact space. But hello roof. All right, we're clear. Okay, uh, Julie, you wanna kinda tie that line around the Samson post and then um, when I get the boat around a little bit more, throw it to me. Okay. On. I think we've got time for it to uh, empty. Okay. I don't know why, but it makes me nervous every time. Getting a little survey of what our slip is. I think it's not. It's, All right, Ruth, as soon as you got it, your is it that? Is that that first one or uh, the, next the next one? one the next open one? So it is a starboard tie? Okay. okay. Station time. Okay. Ruth, are you ready on reverse? Did okay. Just put the brakes on. Just sensing a good time. Brakes on. Brakes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're good back here. We're starting to feel like a real boat. There are many watches on a boat. Anchor watch, storm watch, and tonight, it's bilge watch. The evening started with 10 minute alarms, but eventually we got a whole 40 minutes of sporadic sleep. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Our patrons got a special sneak peek of the launch, closer to real time. But for real time free updates, follow us on Instagram. Thanks everybody.